All right, everybody. We have just started doing our first combination logic where we're using multiple chips, multiple gates, and we're getting an output or multiple outputs. In this case, we're just going to have one output. So the project we're working on is this uh, seatbelt alarm and uh, the steps we've gone through, through the truth table. We have designed it on paper or in our notes. And now we're going to draw it on the computer. So you can use multi-sim or you can use Tinkercad, whichever one works best for you. All right, so I'm gonna use Tinkercad in this video. It's gonna look something like this. So the first thing I'm gonna have you do is log into your Tinkercad and go ahead and open up like your inverters one, but don't, op I'm sorry, don't open up your inverters one. Just go ahead and hit this gearbox and hit duplicate. It'll take a few seconds. All right, and we're gonna just use some of this. So we're gonna delete all of these wires. I'm, I'm actually gonna bump this up a little bit. Bump that. Uh, inverter gate up a little bit and now we're going to find uh, we'll bring in an AND gate which I'll type 7408 and there's one right there. Now I could put it right there however I'm going to give it a little bit of space just to kind of show that there we need space in there. Uh, and then I'm going to grab an OR gate. Again I'm going to go one um, gap down. Uh, I only need one LED, so I'm going to go ahead and delete these. Oh, and before we go any further, let's make sure we change this to 1.2.1 seatbelt and then your initials, please. You can go ahead and change the color of that if you would like. I'm going to change it to red since we're making a car alarm. Um, and instead of a buzzer, just the light will turn on. And for our switches here, we're going to go back here and we're going to say, all right, seat belt is going to be switch one, the key is going to be switch two, and the door is going to be switch three. All right. So now it's time to start wiring. Before we wire the switches into anything, I always want to encourage you to always start with powering the chips. So. Pin 14 here, pin 14 here is our power. I'm going to color code that in red. Okay, and if I turn sideways and look at it sideways, remember one is up here, and it goes to seven, and then eight goes here, and then 14 is up here. So we want to power those, make sure they're in line with our power here. And then we're going to ground this. So pin seven is going to go to ground, and I'm going to color that black. I'm going to go here to black. And remember, colors of the wires don't change the performance of the wire. It is just good to kind of create a coloring combination that works best for uh, you. And universally, red is power and black is ground. So we've got these black ones going into ground, uh, where we have these resistors down here going into power. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is I'm going to take switch one, which is the seat belt, and I'm gonna go here, and that is gonna go into an inverter. I'll keep that green. And the first thing we need to do is the seat belt goes into an inverter, out of the inverter, and then into the AND gate. So into the inverter, out of the inverter, and into the AND gate. So this whole switch one combination is doing this. Now we can check to see if this is gonna work. So if I just power this and say, all right, whenever switch one is off, the light is on and it's doing the opposite because it's going through this inverter. So, so far so good. Delete that. All right. 
The next wire I'm going to have is the key going into the AND gate. So the key is switch 2. And it's going into, I'll color code that, uh, orange. Okay, so we have an input, another input. So there's, there are our two inputs, our seatbelt here and our key here. And then it's going out of the AND gate and into the OR gate. So I'm going to go find the output one because this is input one, input 1B. One I'll put, so I'll go here into the next one and I'll color code that uh, turquoise. Now we can again test the light switch. And if we go here and we say, okay, according to our truth table, when the seatbelt is off and the key is off, the buzzer or the light is off. So let's start this and say when this one is off and two is off, the light is off. Okay, so far so good. Let's jump down a little bit to where we have a zero and a one and the buzzer turns on. So when the seatbelt is off and the key is on, the buzzer turns on. So that means a zero. And a one, hey, it's working. All right, so far so good. Let's just see what happens when, when the first one's on, the second one's off, it's off. Let's double check that. When it's on and off, we can, we're not even worried about this door column yet. So off, on, we did that one, on, off, that's okay. How about both of them are on? Both of them are on. It doesn't do anything. Okay, so far so good. And you want to kind of double check these as you're going through, as you're building. Because if you just try and build everything real fast, and then you test it at the end, and it doesn't work the way you want it, now you're like, oh, shoot, I've got to go back and troubleshoot every single thing. As we're building it and we're troubleshooting, it makes life a little bit easier in the end. So we left off on, this is plugged into our OR gate, and finally our switch three, our door needs to go to our OR gate. So we're gonna go switch three here. I'm gonna go up, down, and around. Let's see, I haven't used blue yet. And then finally, I'm gonna go here to here, and I haven't used purple yet. Okay. Let's start the simulation, and we are going to test everything. So, so far we have this wire, this wire, this wire. We've all done this, and we just plugged in this. So according to the truth table, if everything's off, the buzzer is off. This might be easier if I do it this way. Not quite easier. Get rid of this. There we go. Now life's a little bit easier. Okay. And then when we have zero, zero, one, light turns on. When we have zero, one, zero, light turns on. When we have Zero one one. The light is on. Okay. So you're going to go through this truth table just like I'm going through. And you're checking to see if the lights are turning on according to our truth table here. We have a one, a one, a zero. The light is off. Our light is off too. And finally, we have all of them are turned on and our lights turned on. You've just successfully created your first combination logic. Uh, and this is the same way that your seatbelt uh, seat alarm works in your car. So great job. When you're done, hit this share button. 
this invite people button and hit this copy and turn it in on Google Classroom. Great job.